Hey everyone, so today we are going to be doing a different type of video on my channel and this one is really exciting because it is all about Asian snacks and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a huge fan. I have a big order of things that I got from a website called Say We and I was scrolling through Instagram as I always am and there was an ad on there and it like really sold me and this is basically like an online Asian grocery store where you can get all kinds of snacks at a very reasonable price. So. I was sucked in. This is not sponsored in any way. I purchased from them with all of my own money. They are currently doing a promotion where you can get $20 off your first order, which is like a big deal, plus free shipping. So I took advantage of that and I do have a link below if you want to also get $20 off your first order. So I'm gonna let you guys know all the snacks that I got. We're gonna do some taste tests of some and let you know what I recommend, what I don't like, because I've got some very interesting things. So if you guys are interested to try some Asian snacks with me, then please keep watching. So you guys, I wasn't lying when I said I got a lot of snacks. This is my entire order. This is a big box, like very, very big. So we've got a lot of things to try. They have such a wide variety of all the products. So it was really hard for me to narrow it down on just a couple drink options. So I did only get two. I will try one of them today and then I'll save the other one for another time. So the first one I got is a strawberry milk tea. This is a product of Taiwan. This is called the Tea Grand Assam Strawberry Milk Tea. And this one was a $1.49. So I'm gonna save this for another time just because there is another drink that I really wanna try. And I feel like this one's gonna be very exciting to try. I really hope I like it. This is also from Taiwan and this is from the brand called Inno Tea. And this is the brown sugar boba tea in a can. So this one's supposed to have the brown sugar and the tapioca boba beads in here. I really wanna try this. I've never tried a canned boba before. This is gonna be very interesting. And the price of this one was $2.49. And just for anyone wondering, this is 16.6 .6 fluid ounces. And this one is 270 calories. Okay, and this one says to shake well. So we're gonna shake it well. I hope I don't make it explode though. Okay, no explosion, that is good. Ooh, that's really good. That is really good. There's supposed to be bobas in here. I wonder how I'm supposed to, am I supposed to drink this like from the can or do you pour it in a glass? The flavor is really good. It's not overly sweet, which I'm kind of surprised with it being like brown sugar flavor. I didn't know if it was gonna be like, like sugar in a can. I mean, it kind of is sugar in a can, but it doesn't taste like it. I do think just for like presentation, I do wanna put it in a glass. So give me just a minute and I will pour it into a glass and we'll see if all the bobas are in there. So you can kind of see like what it looks like. I wonder how you get the bobas out. I mean, some of them are coming out, but. Okay, the bobas are coming out. You do kind of have to like work at it to get them out. Again, I don't know if you're supposed to just drink this from the can. I don't know how you'd ever get the bobas out though. So this is what it looks like in my glass. You can see the bobas here at the bottom. This is a very full. I need to take a sip of this to see if I can uh, get it down some. I did get the bobas. Okay, these are what the little boba beads look like. I love this, this is really good. If you just wanted like a quick, cheap boba from a can, I would totally order that again. And compared to like what it would cost if you were to get like boba from like a boba tea shop or something, of course, it's gonna be more than $2.50. So if you're just wanting like a quick, kind of like instant boba, I actually really like this, this is good. I did get these Insta Bobas. So these are from the brand Didi. These are a product of Thailand and this is a instant boba tea little set here. I think there are 12 packets in here. This was $5.29. Looks like they have a few different flavors too. They have like a Thai coffee, a matcha green tea, and then a Thai tea with cream and sugar. So this one's just like the boba milk tea. I haven't tried this yet, but I do wanna open it up just to see what the um, little packets look like. Dang it, the one thing I didn't realize is that the boba is not included in this. I thought it was like an all-in-one like boba tea. So this is what the actual little packet looks like. The directions just say to serve it hot, you dissolve one sachet into seven ounces of hot water, stir well and enjoy, or you can drink it cold, make it with ice to have a glass of tasty milk tea, dissolve one sachet into 3.5 ounces of hot water, stir well, then add five ounces of ice. So I'm kind of bummed. I thought this is gonna have boba with it. So you will have to have separate bobas if you want to have the actual bobas in it, but I will give this a try and let you know what I actually think of the milk tea portion of it. Okay, the next item I just had to get, this was so intriguing to me. This one I believe is a product of China and this one is, okay, again, my pronunciation, Daozhang Kun. It's okay, I know I got it wrong. 
This one was 99 cents and this is basically a little like bakery bread with like red bean paste in it. I really love the sesame red bean balls that you can sometimes find at like um, Asian restaurants. I am a huge fan of those. My family, I have like made them try them a million times saying like you have to try it. It's so good. None of my family likes red bean. I don't know if they get caught up because they're thinking that you know it's bean but it's it's very like a, a subtly sweet kind of treat. So I'm a fan of red bean and I love bread so I can't wait to try this one. I'm gonna do a quick taste test of this now um, just because I feel like bread products might go bad a little bit quicker so I want to just go ahead and try it now. This is what it looks like. It's just kind of like a really soft squishy like, like a little almost like a croissant bun. I'm just gonna kind of break off a little piece of it. I didn't get barely got any red bean in the end so let me try this piece. Mm -hmm. This is really good. It's almost like a cross between like um, a Hawaiian roll and like a croissant. The bread, the bread itself is really good. If you can see, there's not a whole lot of red bean in here. I wish there was a little bit more. I'd say it's definitely like 90% bread, 10% of red bean. Yeah, that is really good, especially for a dollar. That is like a very large snack for a dollar. I love this. I would totally buy this again. I would totally eat this again. This is a double thumbs up for me. Now I did get a lot of chips. Some of them are very strange flavors that I've never quite heard of before. And a lot of them are actually from the Lay's brand, but just in different countries. Okay, so the first bag of chips I got is actually a brand and a type of chip that I have tried before and I am a big, big fan of it. Now, luckily I am fortunate to have like an Asian grocery store in my town. So I can actually get these at that Asian grocery store. So I only wanted to get one bag of them, even though I absolutely love these because I can't get these locally. But I haven't had them in a while, and this is from the brand High Thai, and these are the honey butter chips, you guys. It might sound weird if you've never heard of like a honey butter potato chip, but it's just like so good. From my memory, it tastes to me like if you were to take a croissant, put butter on it, and then turn that into a potato chip, that's what it reminds me of. The price of the honey butter chips is $1.99, so not bad. This is a bit of a smaller bag, but it's definitely larger than like those little mini individuals. This one is like a 60 gram bag, so not a bad price at all, and it took me a minute to get the bag open. This one is no joke, but this is what the potato chip looks like. It looks like any other unsuspecting potato chip, but let's try it. Oh my god. Just as good as I remember. Yeah, and my description still holds true. I would say it tastes like a buttered croissant in a potato. You guys, I could smash an entire bag of these like no joke. So I need to put these away because we've got a lot more snacks to try. But honestly, huge fan of these. I would buy these over and over. These are great. So these are actually from Thailand. So this is called the salted egg potato chip. I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like that is such a strange flavor to make, but I'm gonna reserve my judgment. We're gonna try these. And the price of this one was two dollars nine cents. It really like doesn't have like a weird smell at all. Okay, so let's try the salted egg flavor. Hmm, interesting flavor. It's got a little bit of like a spicy like aftertaste to it. I'm not mad at it at all. It's a good flavor. I like it. I can't quite pinpoint what it tastes like exactly to me. I guess it does taste a little bit like salted egg. I don't know if that's like a particularly like, I don't know, like a specific Thai dish or something or a snack. I guess I do get a little bit of like an eggy flavor, but I actually really like this. I I like it. It has that nice like kind of spicy kick at the end. Kind of unexpected. I didn't think it was going to have like a, any spice to it, but I like this. I would totally eat this. This is good. Okay, the next flavor of chips. This is another one of the Thailand Lay's. Now this one, please forgive me. I have absolutely no idea how to pronounce this. Please forgive me. I don't even know what this dish is. I've never heard of it before. Um, it looks like Meng Kam Krobros. I'm sure I completely butchered that. I am very much apologize. This one was also $2.09. I have no idea what this is gonna taste like. Like I, on the picture, I see like maybe some nuts, maybe some lime and onion, and then like some noodles. And I have no clue. I have no clue. Okay, so here is the chip. Let's try this one. This one's gonna be like awkward to eat. Oh my god. Whoa, this is really good. What am I tasting right now? And I'm very happy to say like so far none of these chips have been like super smashed or banged up or anything. I was kind of worried like with buying so many potato chips where they're gonna come crushed. But luckily these are all like pretty much intact. So good deal. This is so good. This one has a little bit of like a sweetness to it. But then it almost has like a little bit of like a like a minty 
kind of uh, leaf, like a mint leaf or so, I don't know, something like that or maybe like a perilla leaf type of uh, flavor to it. I really just like don't know how to describe it because I can't like figure out what the flavors are. I mean, I'm sure if you know what this dish is, you would probably know a lot better. Okay, I would totally eat those again. Okay, so these next ones are all Lay's from China. So this one is roasted cumin lamb skewer flavor. Oh my gosh, you guys. That sounds really good. And this one was $2.29. Okay, let's smell it. Whoa, okay. Wow, that has a very strong scent. I can totally smell the cumin. Okay, let's try this one. Roasted cumin lamb skewer. What the hell? Oh my gosh, wow. Okay, it totally tastes like roasted cumin lamb skewer. That's a, <laughs> that's a tongue twister. Like that lamb flavor is totally there. This is so good. That cumin gives it just a little bit of like a spicy kick at the end. We are four for zero for like having good chips so far. Next one, this one is another one from Lay's China and this is called Numb and Spicy Hot Pot. I've never had hot pot, I've always wanted to try it. I don't know, numb and spicy kind of scares me. I don't know if that's just like a flavor or the name or if it's gonna make me numb and spicy, I don't know. And this one was a two pack, so you did have to buy two of them together and it was two nineteen for this one. Wow, the scent of this one is quite different from all the rest. These are like the little ridged um, potato chips. So, okay, let's see. Wow, I like these too. They are spicy. Yeah, the flavor, the spice is kind of building. Um, it's not like terribly spicy, but I can totally feel the spice and taste it. Um, it tastes good though, oh my God. I'm glad I got two bags of these because I totally think my boyfriend would like these. He likes a lot of the spicy kind of stuff. I like spice too, but I don't like like super spicy stuff just for the hell of it. But this is good, but it's not setting your mouth on fire to where like you feel like you need to go like drink a entire gallon of milk. So that's great. I don't, I don't like spice when it just hurts. So that is definitely really good. Hot pot, I can't wait to try hot pot sometime. Okay, next I missed one of the Thailand Lay's chips. So this one is from Thailand. This is the spicy lobster one. This one was $2.09. Hmm, there's not much smell to this one. I wonder how spicy it's gonna be. Okay, let's try this one. I like this one too. Oh my God, you guys. I was really not sure if I was gonna like a lot of these. These are all so good and all distinctly different flavors. This one I feel like I kind of get a little bit more of like, almost like a tomato-y kind of flavor from it, but I really like it. It doesn't taste very seafoody to me. I mean, it might have like a slight bit of like a seafoody taste. Okay, don't worry, we are almost to the end of the chips. I did get other things other than chips, so don't worry. Um, this is also from China. So this one is called the Roasted Garlic Oyster Flavor. And the price of this one was $2.29. Um, I, I don't know, I've never actually had like raw oysters or anything before, so I'm not sure quite what the flavor is like, but I do like garlic, so I'm thinking I might like these. Oh my gosh, these totally smell like straight up garlic, which I love. So if you're not a fan of garlic, you probably wouldn't pick these up anyway, but if you do like garlic, it smells like a French baguette right now, just like a garlic herb baguette. <laughs> Okay, let's try this one. I don't know what the oyster flavor is gonna be like, but the garlic, I can totally smell it. This is so good. This just kind of tastes like garlic bread in a potato chip to me. I can maybe taste a tiny bit of like, what's supposed to be like the oyster flavor, but really, this just kind of tastes like garlic knots in a potato chip to me, so. I'm all about this. And next, the last of the Lay's potato chips. This one, again, is from China, and this one is called Grilled Squid Flavor. You guys, I don't know what this is gonna be like. I saved this one for last just because I don't know. The price of this one was $2.19, and I'm curious to see. I'm, I guess the chip is shaped like this, which is kind of interesting because I haven't really ever seen chips shaped like that. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, I probably should have mentioned this at the beginning, I really appreciate that they put the English um, sticker of the nutrition facts. So all of the ingredients, all the nutrition facts are in English. It's on like a little sticker that they put on here. I appreciate that so much so you can actually like tell what you're reading if you are not fortunate enough to speak uh, or read Thai and Chinese and all these other languages. So I greatly appreciate that. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, when I first smell it, it kind of smells like maybe like Fritos? Yeah, like a fri like a chili Frito is what it like smells like. Okay, let's see what the grilled squid is like. Wow, okay, you guys. Another one I like. I really didn't think I was gonna like all these. This one almost goes through like a few different flavors, which is so interesting. Okay, first flavor I got 
It really did remind me of a chili Frito. But then it had like a little bit of like sweetness to it. It kind of ends on like a peppery note. So I don't know. I, it kind of takes you for like a roller coaster, but this is a good one. I mean, unless you are just like the pickiest of picky, I feel like most people would enjoy most of these flavors. I don't think any of them are really off-putting, especially if you already like a lot of like Asian flavors and stuff like that. Okay, we do have one more potato chip. Now this one is a little bit of an oddball. I don't know what exactly to expect from these. This one is actually a product of Taiwan and this is called Lonely God is the brand name of it. It's kind of a funny name for a potato chip. They call these Jumbo Potato Twist Rose Salt and the price of this one was $1.89. Okay just looking at the packaging it looks like a little potato twist dipped in like a pink yogurt but I don't think that's what it is so I don't know if this is gonna be sweet is this gonna be savory I guess we'll just find out okay I'm not getting much like scent off of this at all whoa okay these are totally not what I was expecting it is like a pink potato chip okay let's try it wow super crunchy okay this one almost has more of like a puffed kind of potato chip rather than all these other ones they're just like pretty much like a standard potato chip these are good but flavor wise they're very mild compared to everything else I just tried I feel like it doesn't taste very salty to me either for being like rose salt flavor I thought these would like be a little bit more on the salty side maybe I should have tried these first because in comparison to all these other flavors that I just tried these are very just like basic they're not even very salty to me, it's almost like if you took a potato chip but didn't put salt on it. I don't think I would buy these again just because I feel like there's so many other flavors that kind of interest me a bit more. But I could see these being good for someone who wants to like try a different type of um, like Asian snack, but maybe they're a little bit, um, what's the word, Palat palatably challenged? Or people that are just a little bit more picky eaters or anything like that or very sensitive to different flavors. This would probably be, be an interesting one to try even though for me, it's a little bit on the boring side. So I don't think I would buy this one again, but all the other ones, I would totally buy again. Okay, luckily that is all the potato chips that I got. Now I do have a whole bunch of different ramen type products, instant noodles, and I also have a few other things to try out. So I won't be able to try everything in this video. So for now, we're just gonna kind of go rapid fire through the rest of the items. So the next thing I got for ramen, this one was one of the things you had to get five of them. That was the minimum for him and they are 69 cents a piece. And this is from the brand Unif Tung. They're called the Chinese onion flavor. I don't know why that just really appealed to me. I love onions. So this was a five pack. Um, you couldn't get these individually, but there are some that you can get individually. So I'm hoping I like these ones because I have five packs of these now. So I hope I like them. Okay, next was a two pack of ramen that I got. These were 99 cents a piece. These are from the brand Ace Cook and they are called the Hao Hao Mi Goreng. These look like they might be Vietnamese. Yes, they are a product of Vietnam. The flavor of these is shrimp and onion. Again, I am a big fan of onion and I like shrimp, so hopefully those are good. The next one is from that same brand. Again, also a product of Vietnam from the Hao Hao brand. This one is called the Saute Onion flavor, and this one was one that you could get just a single one of them and this one was a dollar 19. okay the next ramens that i got are a five pack and these are from indonesia i think i've heard of these before and i have always wanted to try these so these are called the indomie mi goreng instant noodle my cat is like trying to get into my box of goodies and the five pack of this was $2.99. So definitely very affordable for a five pack. Okay, this next one is a brand called Sapporo Ichiban and these are the chow mein ramen noodles. The five pack of this was $4.49. And I was looking on here, I couldn't tell if this is supposed to be like Chinese or Japanese. Like the name Sapporo Ichiban sounds like Japanese to me, but I'm not sure. But when I looked on here, it actually says it's made in the USA. But I really want to try these because these are chow mein ones, which are supposed to be like those really skinny noodles, and I love chow mein so much, so I hope these are good as well because I have a five pack of them. Okay, the next thing I got is kind of like a very different item. I've never seen this before, so I really don't know what to expect at all. Please forgive me, I cannot pronounce Chinese at all. Phonetically, it's spelled Wan Zhan, but I know that's completely not how you pronounce it. But this is like a hot pot sweet potato noodle. This one was $2.79. I did not know this was a sweet potato noodle, so that would be so interesting to try. But like if it turns out like just half as like delicious looking as the picture, then I'm sure I will love it. So this one I definitely can't wait to try because I've 
really have no idea what this is going to be like. Okay, the next one is a set of noodles I have been wanting to try forever. I was really into like K-pop and K-dramas and, and like Korean culture a few years back and I was always watching K-dramas. They would be having this and I've always wanted to know what it was like. So this is just like an instant version of it, but this is called the Otogi Beijing Jajangmyeon. So basically it's like black bean noodles and I think it's supposed to have like pork and vegetables in it. And this one was a five pack for for $4.19. I've seen a lot of like mukbangs of people like eating this and ordering it and basically what jajangmyeon is it's like a black bean noodle and I, and I believe it is kind of like a Korean Chinese like fusion food that is very popular in Korea and I did try this one out. So overall I did kind of like trying these just because I'd always wondered what this flavor had tasted like but to me I don't know I don't know how authentic the actual like instant version is going to be compared to like you know, like a takeout version or like a homemade version or anything like that. I did like it, but I don't know if I'd purchase these again. I feel like after having like five of these, I would probably be good. Maybe I'll try another brand another time though, because I still want to experiment and see what like different brands and stuff. Maybe this is just like not a good brand or maybe other ones are better. I don't know. So I will definitely be interested in experimenting more with this flavor, but I don't know if I would buy this particular one again. Okay, everyone. So that is everything that I got from my Wii order. I have to say I was very impressed. I love the flavors of everything. I thought the prices were very reasonable. They had an amazing selection of all different kinds of products like ramen, instant, snacks, candy, like just you name it, drinks. They have so many options and it seems like they had a pretty wide range of um, different products from different countries. Like we tried a lot of things from China, from Thailand, from Taiwan, from Indonesia from Korea. Pretty good wide range. They also have a lot of Hispanic stuff too. Um, it's not as much as the Asian food, but they do have that as well. I am super happy with so many of the things I've got. Now, of course, I haven't tried everything at this moment, but majority of it that I have tried, I've been a big fan of it. And there's quite a few things in here I can already tell I would purchase again. I forgot to mention that the shipping was very fast too. My first order was, of course, free shipping and it came two days earlier than they had quoted me. So that was like a really fun surprise to find my box on my doorstep a couple days ahead of time. And overall, I am very happy with a lot of this stuff. And yeah, so if you guys want to order from We as well, I do have a referral link below. You can get $20 off your first order and free shipping and I get points as well. So it's a win-win. So if you are interested in trying something from we definitely check out the link below and we both win I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know it's a little bit different than what I typically do on my channel But kind of these days I just want to do what's fun and what makes me happy and I have to say this definitely made me happy I've got a lot of snacks here So I'm sure I'm gonna be like a uh, sharing a lot of these snacks with a lot of people to uh, get them gone But that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed if you did, please like and subscribe You can follow me on Instagram link is below and until my next video. I will talk to you guys later. Bye